Hi guys. My name Do you have an urge to make videos for Blockland? Do you already have experience with machinimas but still yearn for that pizzazz that other filmmakers have? Take my hand, stupid. We're gonna survey the realm of cool Blockland videos. Oh hey, my voice sounds like this. Hey guys, so I'm leaving soon and there are hardly any tutorials out there for making videos for Blockland. So I am giving you this little series of tutorials on what I've learned over the past decade before I go forever. I just hope it's not too late. For now, we're going to start with the essentials to make something pretty decent looking. Warning. This series is going to focus a lot more on the visuals rather than the storytelling, aside from a little bit in this first video, because honestly, I don't have a structure that I follow. It's more like, hey, funny idea that I came up with in a shower. Let's, let's make it. But if you do need some guidance for story, um, I suggest that you first watch this video by this guy, Swahali. He's able to sum up storytelling a lot better than I can. So let's begin. First, to make Blockland videos, you're gonna need Blockland. You can use the demo, but it's better to use the Reto version, obviously, because we need add-ons. Don't pirate the game. Next, you're gonna need a screen recorder. Here's a giant list of everything that I know of that's free. All of the links to these and any future software are going to be in the description. Uh, please try to spend as little as possible on the screen recorder, if any money at all, because they all basically do the same thing. And uh, if you're using $40 software that offers crystal clear uncompressed video, YouTube tends to add artifacts to your uploads anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Currently, I use OBS. It's free and works on both Windows, Mac, and Linux if you happen to have Blockland working on Linux. Third, you're going to need a video editor to patch together all these clips that record into one rendered video. Once again, here's another list of free. In this aspect, you can spend as much money or as little money as you want if you feel confident enough to use all the extra tools that the more costly editors offer. I personally use Motion 5, it's $50 and I absolutely love it, but unfortunately it's Mac only. For most things that are going to be covered in these tutorials, I kind of like DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks, and Shotcut, although they are definitely for more advanced users. If you're just starting out, something like uh, Wondershare, Filmora, or even iMovie or Windows Movie Maker are great places to start actually. Four. We're going to need an add-on called Film Mode which allows you to set a keybind to hide the entire HUD and gets rid of the uh, paint can and player chat. And finally, uh, this isn't absolutely necessary, but it's very recommended that you download Felipe 1020's Useful Edits, which is a pack of faces in the style of the default smiley. You can portray a huge amount of expression in your videos with these faces, so it's very recommended. It's filming time. Let's assume you have an idea in mind already. Chances are it takes place somewhere. It can be in a garden, in a city, or even an empty void. Every video is going to have a setting. It's impossible for it not to, obviously. Most times you can use the default builds, or you can scour the block landforms for download downloadable builds to use, or you can even build your own specifically for you to use in this video. Once you have your setting, you're going to need a character or multiple characters. The only places that you'll usually leave out a character are certain commercial style videos like a car commercial or build showcases. If we follow Sohali's tutorial from earlier, we're going to need to know who this character is, what they're doing, when and where this video takes place, which we have established in the setting, and why they're doing this thing. Let's say this guy is on top of his house in the middle of nowhere and in supposedly modern day. He's just a simple blocklander who is trying to fix the hole in his roof. With just this, we have answered all five of the who, what, when, where, why questions, and now we have some coherency with what's happening in the video. You can make this character come alive either by having another person help to act or by acting yourself, which I will elaborate on. There are three main ways that we can record this character. You can use admin orbing, where you can set a key bind to press a button and then you become a ghost that leaves your player. It's best to use this if you are filming from a spot that's impossible for a player to rest on or uh, if you're performing ca camera movements that a player can't accomplish. You will not have control over your player though, so you will need another actor. Next, you also have your own player to move the camera around, which again requires another actor to play the character. If you need a shot that requires a perfectly level camera, 
Or if you just like the way you can control the camera through the player, then use this one. Just be careful because you can see your own shadow, assuming you have shaders on. Finally, you have control player, an add-on by port that allows you to control your player from a distance using the admin orb. I think it might be a default add-on now, but uh, just in case, here's another link in the description. All you do is find your perspective with the admin orb, type control player, or set a keybind to do it for you, and voila, you can do some acting yourself now. I'm not going to include chase cam because it's deprecated. What it used to do is that you would type this and it would freeze the camera indefinitely, but after a certain update came out, it now lasts uh, about two minutes. If your shot only lasts a couple of seconds and you're willing to mess with it, then by all means do it. In, in fact, don't let anything I say limit you with what you can do to film. Here's the thing. Remember when I said that you can either have someone to help act or do the acting yourself? Going from what I said, uh, you can actually replace all the external actors, even for multiple characters on screen at once, and act the entire thing yourself without the use of chase cam and all that, and still have control over your camera. All of this is possible through film bots created by Whirlwind. You can type certain commands into chat to record the current movements of your player and then play them back seamlessly eliminating the need for other actors. You can even make them hold and use items and play talking animations, but they don't seem to be able to drive vehicles very well. In some cases like these, it would be necessary to use actual actors. But it's a great add-on, especially if you don't have friends. Okay, so you have your shot planned out. You have your scene, you know what you want the characters to do, and you're ready to record. Open your screen recorder, set the resolution of the recorder to a common 16 to 9 resolution, such as 720p, 1080p, or if you're insane, 2k or 4k. Just make sure that's no bigger than your block plane window. Try to avoid smaller resolutions like 480p or 360p if possible. If applicable, also set your frame rate to something common, such as 24, 30, or 60 frames per second. The higher the FPS, the smoother the video, but the more uh, disk space it takes up, so be careful. Then you hit record. Character does a thing, hit stop, boom, you're done. Maybe you have another scene after this one, you shoot this one too, boom, you're done. You eventually finish recording everything and you have a nice pile of clips to use to put together in your video. And that's it for now. Next tutorial, we're going to talk about editing and rendering the video. Please remember to like and subscribe.